Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back with Community. Last mm-hmm. time on Community. Yes, we're going to college. We uh, have <laughs> Troy. We're humans. We're the human beings. <laughs> yep. And we're trying to find the most uh, no. inclusive, non offensive version of a human being. And we have made a monster. And <laughs> what we have created is terrible and <laughs> yeah. should be set on fire. It's the most exclusive. Yeah. Uh, Troy's uh, doing football. He's playing some football for fun, mm-hmm. not for anything else, but for himself. And that is quite nice. And then we also have Britta. Who is learning how to become a woman, or something like that, or was the bathroom stuff? Um, I, don't know, I, I don't know what happens. In that. I think it was how to open up about feelings. Yeah. What happens in the girls' bathroom? It's a mystery. Feelings. And I've only been in the girls' bathroom, bathroom stuff several times. <laughs> As you know, all Halloween. No student in any department has ever exercised this option until now. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, Day of the Dead. is sometimes referred to as Mexican Halloween. Which is actually quite offensive to people familiar with Mexican Halloween as a sexual position. At any rate... I just rented Van Wilder to The Rise of Taj, and look! Is that a real movie? I don't know. I mean, there's lots of Van Wilders. I mean, it's, uh, it's like I'm my mother. Calling mother. Man, how is his mom? One of my professors is really hot, and I wanted to give you first right of refusal. First right. <laughs> I, that's, I'm a. Why did you just hang up? <laughs> He's not very good with technology. <laughs> I saw your father's ghost today. today. He's still angry. A little aggressive, but as a busy, confident woman of authority, I'm attracted to men who take charge. Are you being sarcastic, or am I nailing it? You were nailing it until you had to ask. Oh, damn it. Starting over. Hey, you in the skirt, date me. I'd like to be <laughs> Did you ever see that Catherine Heigl movie poster where Gerard Butler had that heart over his wiener? That resonated with me. Okay, fine, but just repeat. What? The heart on his wiener. Ask. Gerard Butler. That's why you're not getting the chance. Ooh. Ooh. Who the hell's that? Is that Leonard? It's Leonard. That's the naked guy. And he's closed. If you show up, it'll be the first party I host where everyone doesn't say they need to get home in time for the news. Aww. The last time you did this, I saved a vial of your tears and have been slowly building up an immunity. <laughs> the crossing guard used to lure me into traffic. What? <laughs> Trying to quickly take his pills? <laughs> Where did he come from? You should probably be careful. Anything. Look, I really don't need your advice, and I'm not your pantsless grandpa. <laughs> pantsless grandpa. <laughs> what? That's the only thing he got on to? Britta! What the? It's a nice squirrel guy. I hate when women use Halloween as an excuse to dress up like sluts, you know? Yeah! Okay, everyone! I don't feel like that's that bad. I've seen much, much, seen much, much, far much, worse. much more. Yeah. <laughs> the pretty one. Or less. I've seen skeleton costumes where it was just the bones. <clears throat> no. There's a storm building on the horizon. <laughs> you and I will save the night. Jack's mix, pretzels, baby carrots. Predictable but appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, he needs to be. Look at Troy. Wow. Say Murphy. You, Murphy. I love it. Am I good looking? You're a very attractive young man. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am the Beastmaster. From the movie Beastmaster. Yep. I know that movie. Well, I'm I'm familiar familiar with it. It's dark. <clears throat> I don't know why, but with his hair, he reminds me of James Spader. Huh. Weird. No, I, it doesn't, but I get you. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Hey, what are you guys doing? What? Rubberneck. I'll trade you one of mine for two of yours. Starburns. I don't know Starburns. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought I was dealing with the Beastmaster. Hey, hey, drunk. who said you weren't? <laughs> What's he gonna give him? Don't mind if I do, may I? I know that one, I need that one. <laughs> That's a hard man. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> give you 20 bucks. I'll bring the hog around. I'll bring <laughs> the hog around. <laughs> Moped. This will only be good. Okay. It's time for the dance I don't know what's gonna happen. What did you slip me? Keep grinding my teeth. I want to kiss everybody. What did you slip me, man? 
my heart stopped racing and I can't pee. <laughs> stopped racing. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Uh oh. I don't think Jeff's here. If Jeff's not here, why am I here? You know, I'm gonna go. I don't wanna miss the news. News? <laughs> Is it because of the meds he took? Use Troy, have Troy dance. You should go find that bitch's car and stop up her antenna. Wow, surely. Is she like that way her radio doesn't work? Is she Hermione? I could do this all night. I love you. What did he take? Nice hey. cowboy. <laughs> when you say classmate, it sounds like we take naps together and eat paste. But uh, what's great about community college is that a lot of the students are just as mature as the teachers. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> that Batman one got me. <laughs> Why is Urkel ripping the antenna off Professor Slater's car? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Why is he here? Britta, I don't care about your high school soap opera. Abed, you're not Batman. <gasps> Whose hands are these? Oh my god. <laughs> Stop me! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd walk away. The hell? Destroyed. What the hell are you doing? To teach that long neck weave and having bang till she can't steal another woman's man. That's why. Has she, she went through a divorce yeah. and stuff, right? She had like a thing. I have a confession. <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is, Britta? Everything you've done tonight. <laughs> Let's go check on Annie. Just leave this all like this and walk out. <laughs> Nights and pretentious. I think she was a little angry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pierce. Oh, I hope he didn't die. <laughs> Pierce is Oh my giant. gosh. <laughs> Tell me about Woodstock and Sputnik. Sputnik? <laughs> Look at me, bro. Look at me. I've got the body of a fifth grader. Okay? If I was working with what you've got, she'd be at the Comfort Inn right now giving me a Mexican Halloween. This I need to know what that is. I know one move I bet you've never tried in life. Tell the truth. He's got spurs, too. Please sleep with me. Please. Pretty please. <laughs> He's never so begged. Only. Okay, stay three steps behind and promise you won't tell anybody. I promise. <laughs> Don't make eye contact. Jeff! 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 He's so, oh, he's so far away! He's inside! <laughs> he was so far away. You're the only one. Jeff out there! He's the only one who can help! Loser! <laughs> 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 Chang is so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going on? He, he built a fort? He a fort. <clears throat> he's inside. I never saw Beastmaster. I just wanted to be cool. <laughs> And you chose Beastmaster it's to be It's not cool. <laughs> not at this party. Maybe Rick's party. Gotta be careful before everything comes tumbling down. Yeah! Oh no! Go, run, run, run! Batman! <laughs> <laughs> Where? What's he? Where'd he come from? Batman. Yeah. <laughs> that red light. If I stay. There can be no party. <laughs> what? Wherever a party needs to be saved, I'm there. <laughs> They're gonna have like a little. There are masks. <laughs> am I a bird? No. We're going up to the, the roof. Bat. I am Batman. Yes. Or am I? <laughs> yes, I am Batman. <laughs> if I ever like woke up as a donut, you would eat yourself. I wouldn't even question it. It's cool to know other people think about this stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> oh man. No, I loved I loved when he turned around and yeah, they had the light on him. The, 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 That's what started making me crack up so much more was that it wasn't he's been doing the voice and everything the whole time, but the fact he was like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. When that fort was coming down, I had I didn't think it was gonna happen, and when it happened, it's just like immediately, like, of course, that's why the fort fell. Yeah. In the narrative, 
Sure. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a thing where it's like Jeff saves him and they get out of there and it's like crumbling down. <laughs> but I like that Batman came in the other day. Oh, it's so good. He's really good at that voice. <laughs> I can't. This is, I think why I like the show so much, only at episode seven, is I cannot nail down my favorite character. Uh, every, sure. Everybody really has chances to shine. Yeah, I don't know why, but there's something about Chevy Chase with that big wig that yeah. for some reason I jumped to James Spader. James Spader. So, I don't know. It's such a weird pull. No, I, when you said it, I I understand. I but no, I I don't. No, I get it's, you. It's but you're just wrong. far enough away that it doesn't. I don't know why. It was the hair. Maybe yeah. he did makeup to make himself look younger too. I don't know, but I'm the Lizard King. <laughs> <laughs> I need to... Is, is Mexican Halloween really a thing? Me. You don't even know my real name. Is that huh? a real thing? Mexican Halloween? Well, the day of the dead is yes. You're talking about the sexual position? Yes. Yeah. I know... I know. Cinco de Mayo. No, and you don't know. Six. I should not just put sex. Wait, so you're looking yeah. up... Okay, okay. Uh, Here we go. Sexual act. Okay. Okay. Mexican Halloween? Yeah, because he... <laughs> he was like... He said it was a sex act. <laughs> he was like... And that's... What do you say? It gets racist to the people. It's offensive to the people who practice the the sexual the position. sexual position known by the same name or something like that. Oh, it's talking about this. Some sort of sexual position, as stated by Senior Chang and confirmed by others. Senior Chang, which is actually quite offensive to people familiar with Mexican Halloween as a sexual position. Damn it! But what is it? It's just a fictional sexual position. Well, what could it be? Is there a Mexican sexual sexual position that we could relate it to? Found it. What? Mexican Halloween? The Ugly Truth. Oh, what the hell? And it has Gerard Butler with the heart over his wiener. Oh, uh-huh. that's what she was talking about? It took me a while to get through all the it? other Google so results heart of, seen it. of over Gerard Butler with wiener heart. I thought it said a heart on his wiener, and I was like, there's a yeah. heart on his wiener. No. no. What is? What movie is this? But okay, no. it's just that he's yeah. holding a heart down here yeah. over top of where yeah. his stuff would be. All right, well... Yours searches were more fruitful than mine. There's they made up Mexican Halloween. Damn. I don't know what to make it. Like if I had to imagine what it would be, I don't know what it would be. It's um, like yeah. it's like if you dress up like penises and vaginas in costumes, and then fuck. And it's Halloween below the border, Mexican Halloween. What? Like you think of like. Your belt as the equator. Why do you so, dress up like a penis in a... Why, why? Do you know, Canadians have an American Halloween penis. where they dress up as American genitalia and bang? Yeah, but only like cowboys. How would you know? I don't know. Why does it I don't know. matter? I don't know. You've made it unsexy, though. Starburn's got lines in this one. He did. He talked. Alex. I he did drugs. Because of his like outfit and stuff, it took me a second to see the Starburns. I didn't realize it was him. Mm-hmm. And he shared drugs. He did. And How he about could, he could my, pee. one of mine <laughs> for two of yours? I, my heart stopped racing. I can't pee. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Who is the teacher? I feel like I've seen her before, too. Uh, Professor Michelle Slater. I'm going to look at it real quick. Slatter? Was it Slatter? Like she oh, wasn't I like she was nice. I think it was Slater. If it was Slater, it would be two T's, right? Maybe. She's not like the girl from Firefly, right? Or something. Huh? No. no. I'm trying to think of who she's she not. Be. She just looks familiar. I don't know who. I don't know why. I'm just curious. Talking about Inara? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to like place her as something like that. And that way, like if it is, then I'm like, ah, see, I thought it might have been. <laughs> you know? Is this sure. called Intro to Statistics? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because she's the. She taught statistics. Yeah. And another one was Intro to Film. And I don't know. Are they all named after classes at community college? I don't think so. Social psychology. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> mm. Spanish one hundred and one. Mm. Yeah. Okay. She's in Burn Notice. That might be what it is. Oh, yeah. yeah she's in Burn Notice. You I think love it, it. I think it has to be that because gotcha. I don't see much else that I. Oh, she's in NCIS. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I really enjoyed Troy's uh, costume too. It looked. Mm-hmm. It did look like Eddie Murphy's uh, raw. Was it? It's one yeah, of his standards. Yeah, it was raw, yeah. Yeah. It was really the red good. leather jacket. Which uh, is a great stand-up special, but the jokes don't age well. They really don't. I'm sure. He goes real hard on, like, gay stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Van Wilder 2, The Rise of Taj, is a is a real movie. It has the dude from Harold Kumar. There's a lot of Van Wilders. Yeah. Uh, hmm. 
Ryan Reynolds was, was like the first, the first Van Wilder. The first Van Wilder yeah. was based right? off of uh, Burt Kreischer, who's a comedian. He tells the machine story. You read, you read yeah, Burt Kreischer. He went to the University of Florida or a Florida university and was there like seven, eight, nine years, something like that. And he was uh, featured in a article from like Rolling Stone as, as like the party king of America, the college party king of America or something like that. And then Van Wilder was read, written and based off of that article. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Connections. I guess. <laughs> Um, I like the senior Chang in this. He's he, he was in there. He's he was so in there funny. a lot more than what I thought. Dude, his uh, his thing about like I have the body of a fifth grader, and if I had what you have working with, you know, like that was really funny. You know, I think there's not done. even a, yeah. there's a move that you haven't even tried. I like that, that was amazing. Begging, <laughs> please, please, please have sex with me. You're so good looking. It's I'm so, so lonely. Long. <laughs> I haven't been with a woman in a long time. And it worked. Please. And he gave it up. <laughs> She's like. All right, follow me. Yeah, three steps behind. Death, you're the only person who can save him. What? How do you know that? Is Jeff out there? He's the only person who can help me. Yeah. <laughs> I love. Oh my gosh. I love Pierce being like, "What's cool these days?" Beastmaster. <laughs> I've never even seen it. I just wanted to be cool. Beastmaster. It's so old. I don't. Is that? It's eighties, right? It might be seventies. Is it? It's not. Good. Good. It is a bad. I mean. Wasn't it like a bad He-Man like type of movie? I mean, sort of, I guess. I mean, it has Rip Torn in it. 1982. Rip Torn was in it? Rip Torn is so cool. He was the bad guy. There's the alpha. Yeah. Yeah. The Beastmaster guy. I don't know if you guys know this, but he's in really good shape. He is in really good shape, yes. <laughs> in, in that or in, like, now? No. no he is not in good shape now. I'm not now. looking at Beastmaster Kurt. <laughs> he's old. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Hey, there was a Beastmaster 2. It was worse. Hey, there was a Beastmaster TV show. It was much worse. <laughs> Mark you know, like, I feel like uh, over the rest of the characters, I still kind of have this, like, in my head about every time I see Chevy Chase on the screen, like, people talking about how he was difficult to work with or whatever. And then also, also he's given jokes that are obviously just incredibly insensitive and offensive and stuff. But it's just I got to give... A testament to the guy and how funny he is, because there's things in there that I just completely forget about all of that. And like when he's high and doing those noises, it's so funny. <laughs> Whose hands are these? Whose hands are these? <laughs> Stop uh, me! <laughs> he's just making noises. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I it's, also, just, it's it's unfortunately so good. There's that. something about the way he did his phone calls. Like, sorry, I'm going through a tunnel, mom. Like, I, 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 yeah, yeah. And like, I don't know. There's something about the way he does it. It's just like. It's funny too. It just makes me think that they're on that set and like, God, man, what a jerk! When they see him do that, like, damn it, he's so good, you know? Yeah. You just turn it on. <laughs> just gotta keep him. I also thought whenever they were like, oh, I always found it weird that they had you know Halloween girls use it as an excuse to dress up like, and and then she took off her thing and it was just in a like a onesie, like, like a bodysuit skeleton kind of thing. thing, and yeah. I was like, I thought it was gonna be much more than <laughs> sure. <laughs> like the way they did it and what it ended up being, I'm like. Man, I've seen much worse, like, just on the front street of Marietta than, like... Sure. <laughs> that guy who juggles wears more revealing clothing than that. That's true. He has, like, leg warmers and then, like, a loincloth and then something on his hands and then that's it. You see him with the giant hula hoop thing? Well, yeah, he rides in it, like yeah. this. Yeah. I haven't seen him using it, but I've seen other people doing it. And it's awesome. Over by the Tudors? Yeah, I'll be sitting there in line, and he will just set. I don't know if he owns it, goes out. I don't know who. I don't know who the hell this guy is, <laughs> but he will just come out of tutors. Like maybe he works there sometimes or something. He'll have a giant speaker. He'll set it down. He'll have his juggling stick things, and then he'll have this giant metal ring, and he will just get inside of it and start trying to roll around inside this ring until he until he loses balance and he does it again. And my kids are being like, Bravo. "What's he doing?" And m music just blaring and stuff. I'm like, "I don't know, kids. He's he's practicing." <laughs> I don't know what for. He's just doing it. My dog, Obi, will be in my car, and, like, anytime there's a person outside, he's always like, hi, hi, you know, trying to say hi. But he saw that guy at Tudors, he's just like... <laughs> just like, I shall pause. And wait. <laughs> like, I, I'd like to know why he's... It, it's just like, I just want to be able to do this, you know? Like I've asked him before, know. like, why, why? why he does it. Why? <laughs> like, is it a hobby or something like that? He just He just wants to make people smile. So, like, I, I think deep down, he is just a performer. And he loves just being weird and but being funny. And he could have more clothes on. 
I mean, and also make me smile. Yeah, but when he's doing it, Good. it's also it was like in the summer and it was hot, and he's out there and in he the is sun, exercising vigorously, doing things that I don't feel like doing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't feel like holding myself in a ring. He is in great he's shape. Been in a circle. He is because he he bicycles everywhere, and he, he carries all of his shit on him when he bikes, including a giant metal ring, Eric. Yeah. You can do all that and wear a shirt and not short no, shorts. You no, can't, you Eric. would die you from can't. heat. Overexhaustion and sunburn. Yeah. No, wait, not and sunburn. Scratch that last one. Yeah. You can still get sunburn through a shirt. Yeah, I've done it. But you can get sunburn with another shirt. Yeah. Too. Yeah. But no. But he's very tan. He is very tan, yeah. So you might as well just put on sunblock and ride around with no shirt. Yeah. It's cooler. I might as well or he might as well. If you're tan, you might as well put on some block right around those shirts. Thank you for watching this reaction, guys. You can check out the next four episodes right now over at patreon.com slash blindwave. And this is the year of one million subscribers, so if you watched this and liked it or anything else that we've made, please subscribe so we can get there with your help. Check out all the links down in the description as well. Twitch.tv slash blindwave. We stream six days a week.